It's Kitchen Courses with Kate and Eric. Eric, tell me about dessert. So we're making coconut cake pops with vanilla coating. And we have some sweetened coconut to sprinkle on top. And I also got some dried pineapple chunks as an homage to a pina colada. Sounds delicious. And if you're thinking, I can't make cake pops at home because you need to have those weird fancy molds. Which is what I was thinking. It's not an issue because the way that we're making it doesn't require a mold. You just need to have sticks and then something to stick the sticks in. Kate has prepared our cake pop stand with a delightful gift wrap. It is simply a box with holes in it and then it will hold your cake pops. And the way that I did this, this is like as crafty as I get. I enjoy cooking, I'm not as good at crafting. I just took a screwdriver and a hammer and put the screwdriver down and hammered, hammered it through. So we have a cake pop stand. This cake pop recipe we actually got from Wilton, which is also, the they're the ones who do the the melty things that we have to use, right? What are they called? The candy melts. Yes. So why, why do you need to use candy melts when you do this? Why can't you use like, just like chocolate chips? Candy melts because they are intended for like candy mold making and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They get, they temper properly and they give you a nice coating. Okay. Well, and I'm really excited because having Eric to, to be the baker and to do all of this great work is amazing because that is, that is not my forte. I like baking. <laughs> The cake pop recipe that we're using, to we're using a prepared white cake mix. And to that, we are adding a package of instant vanilla pudding, four eggs, one cup of coconut water, and a third of a cup of vegetable oil. I, we're gonna add one teaspoon of imitation coconut flavoring. I'm not a big fan of imitation flavoring, but this just adds a really little hint of the flavoring. And we also added a half of a half a cup of sweetened coconut to the to the batter as well. And we baked it off into kind of two nine nine inch pans. And for this recipe, for this recipe that we're using today, you only need to use one of those cakes. So you could actually put the second one in the freezer for the next time you want to make cake pops. Gary, they will be a coconut cake pop with a chocolate coating. <laughs> Not a chocolate coating. He <laughs> wanted all vanilla. With a vanilla coating. Do you want chocolate cake pops? He was like, coconut cake pops sounds so good. So we're doing coconut cake pops. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> 